here we are, children. It's about time for you to get dropped off now. Ooh, look, Mom, look, Claudia. Claudia's ahead of us. Yeah, I'm getting out right now. Bye, Mom. Bye, Claudia, dear. Oh, look, it's Susie. Hey, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Smiths, how are you? Come on, Susie, let's go to our first hour. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Mrs. Smith. Boom, boom, pow. Boom, boom, pow. Boom, 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 boom. Well, I suppose we better go. The bell's about to ring. Yeah, I guess so. So, Susie, did you do the biology homework? Yes, I did. I didn't find it quite challenging at all, did you? No, I thought it was fairly easy. What do you think we're going to do in history today? I don't know. I hope not much. It is Friday. Yes, perhaps we won't do much. Hmm. Alright, bye Susie. I have to go to my seat now. Alright, bye Claudia. Turn around if you ever want to say anything. Alright. Ahem, ahem. Attention everyone. Today we have a new student by the name of Cece. Now, Cece, why don't you take that seat next to Susie? Susie is the girl with the green backpack with pink flowers. Oh, all right then. Well, hi Susie, I'm Cece, as you just heard. Well, hi Cece. So, are you new here? Well, not exactly. I'm just a transfer from another school. Well, I am new to the school, but not new to the area we live in. Oh, okay. So, do you like horses? Oh, yes, a bit. I really just bought this shirt on sale. I didn't really think about horses much. I'm not a huge fan. Oh, I see. They're a little scary sometimes. And scary to ride. It's always so frightening. You think you'll fall off. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Now, excuse me, class, but since today is Friday, I thought we could discuss our plans for the weekend. Anyone? Yes, Lee in the back. All right, thanks, teacher. Well, actually, you know, I don't have any plans. No plans? Not at all? No, nothing at all. Just, you know, staying at home. Not even doing homework? Oh, yeah, well, I guess. Haha, <laughs> homework. <laughs> oh, yes, Susie, what are you planning to do? Well, I'm actually playing in the orchestra pit for the um, play Fiddler on the Roof this weekend. Oh, really? That's wonderful, Susie. Oh, I didn't know, Susie. Cool. Yes, cool, Susie. Oh, Susie, what are you doing then? Well, I'm actually playing in an orchestra pit this weekend, too. Really? Well, what a coincidence. So, do you really play in an orchestra, too? Yes, I do. Isn't it cool? Oh, that is cool. Maybe we'll play together sometime. Yes, perhaps so. Now, is there anybody else who'd like to say what they're doing this weekend? Oh yes, Jonathan. I'm going to go see Fiddler on the Roof, the play. Oh, really? I suppose you'll be going with your sister Susie then, to see her perform. Well, yes, that's why I'm going. Um, all right then. Oh, and Cece, you're doing something else? Yes, I'm going to go see Fiddler on the Roof, too. Well, all right then, if that's everyone. Let's go ahead and take out our notebooks and begin to prepare to take notes. Oh, I don't want to take any notes. No. Oh, man.
Well, all right then, class. Our lesson for the day is just about over. If you will, collect your things and proceed down to the cafeteria for your lunch. Yay, lunch! Mmm, I'm hungry. Yum! Now, who thinks I can throw this in the trash can? I wouldn't even try, Lee. Your aim's so pathetic, I wouldn't even laugh if you'd missed. Yeah, well, mm -hmm, let's try. Here it goes. Ah, oh, man. See, told you, Lee. Hey, yeah, you gotta improve on your shot, Lee. It's not looking very good. I hope those weren't your history notes, Lee. What? No, of course not. That's just my doodling sheet. Excuse me, sir. Oh, Cece, what is it? How can I help you? Where's the art room exactly? I'd like to do something, but I don't know where it is. Oh, it's down on the first floor, on the very left. You'll see it straight away. Butterflies on the windows. All right, thank you, sir. I wonder why she's already going to art. We don't have it until after lunch. I don't know. It's weird. It is her first day. Hmm, I was going to invite her to lunch, too. Oh, well, I guess we'll just talk to her in art. Yes, I suppose so. Now, let's see here. This, yes. And then a little bit of white. Yeah, there. Perfect. Now I just need a little bit of tape. There. Just a little rub. There we go. Almost. Aha! Perfect. Now we have a backpack just like Susie's. Well, I guess we better get going. That was the bell. Yeah, I guess so. Well, off the art it is. Now, I wonder if we'll get to see what Cece was up to. Oh, hello, Cece. How are you? Oh, I'm great, Claudia and Susie. Thanks for asking. Ah, <gasps> look, Claudia. Look what she did. She copied my backpack design. Um, nice backpack, Cece. Oh, thanks, Susie. I like yours, too. Gather around, class. Gather around. Today, we're going to be drawing something that makes us feel happy. Oh, cool. That sounds fun. Yeah. Can we use all the art supplies, like paint and crayons and colored pencils? Yes, use whatever you need to draw your image that we do at the end of the class period. I hope that afterwards we'll put them up on the blackboard where everyone can see them. All right, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. It's a mystery. I still don't get why she copied my backpack. Perhaps she just really liked it. Well, I don't know, Susie. Maybe it's just a fluke thing. Let's think. Now, what am I going to draw? I don't know. What am I going to draw? <gasps> I know, I'm going to draw a fruit because I love pineapple. Pineapple? Pineapple's good. Hmm, I wonder what I'll draw. All right, class, if we're done, we you all please bring your pictures up to the board and paste them on the board, please? Then we'll stand back and admire our work. Ah, uh, great work by all of you. Now let's go around the class and say who's is whose. Mine is the candy cane because I really like Christmas. Mine is the rainbow by the candy cane because rainbows make me happy. Yeah, and mine is the rainbow by the pineapple because rainbows also make me happy. Oh, well, will you look at that, class? We have two rainbows. What a coincidence. Now, who's the tiger? That's mine. I like tigers. And, Claudia, I'm guessing yours is the pineapple. Yes, that's right, Miss Waters. Well, we gotta bring our pictures home. You will. At the start of the next week, I'd like them displayed in my classroom just a little longer. Excellent work, everyone. Excellent. 
Now, class, that's the bell. You may be dismissed. However, Susie, will you just stay with me for a second? Um, hmm. I'll wait for you. Yes, Miss Potters? Susie, I know it may seem that um, Cece is copying you in a way. Yes, did you notice the backpack too? Yes, now don't let this get on your nerves. You know, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. I'm sure she's just doing it because she really likes you and your work. Well, I hope so. Yes, so if this carries on, don't worry about it. I'm sure it will just be gone in a while. But still, excellent work on your drawing today. Thank you, Miss Waters. I'll see you Monday. Well, Susie, what was it? What did Miss Waters want? Just so you know, I was there the whole entire time sitting right next to you, so I can just testify or whatever that you didn't do anything wrong. Oh no, Claudia, it wasn't like that. But thanks for sticking up for me. No, Miss Waters just said not to, to dwell on what Cece's doing by copying me. Well, of course not. Hopefully it'll just be over soon. Yes, I think so. Anyway, let's go up to music. It's show and tell today. All right, class, welcome to music. But today, as it's Friday, we're having our show and tell day. Now, one at a time, would you please come up, take your item out of the show and tell bucket, and tell us what it is, where you got it, and why you're showing it to us today. Well, let's start with you on the end. Come on up and show us what you have. I brought a black fan that I got when I visited Chinatown. And it moves and it folds and it's very cooling. That's why I like this so much and why I brought it to show you all. Excellent, excellent. I have one like that too. Now, who wants to go next? Oh, Claudia, well come ahead and show us what you have. Alright, I have a torch in a bracket, um, which is what the Statue of Liberty holds when I went and visited her in New York. And this is what I got as a souvenir. Oh wow, that's cool. Very cool. Aw, uh, I want something like that. Now, who'd like to go next? Well, how about you, Jonathan? What have you brought? Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, everyone. I found this old football helmet in the attic of our new house when we first moved in, which is really cool because I love hats and this is a cool hat. That's why I brought it to show you. Well, that's excellent. Would you like to put it on for us, Jonathan? Oh, well, sure, I guess I suppose. I guess I can, yeah. There. But I left my hat on because I don't like taking off my hat. But even with my hat, it's still very big. I can barely see out of it as it is. Oh, well, it's very nice, Jonathan. Very nice indeed. Why, thank you. Excuse me, I'd like to go. Oh, all right then, Susie. Come on up, come on up. I brought a shell, which my family and I got last time we were at a beach, and we're supposed to be going again sometime next summer, which is why I bought, brought it in, because I thought it was a pretty shell. Well, thank you, Susie. It certainly is very lovely. And let's see. Um, Susie, you haven't gone yet. What have you brought? Well, I have a shell like Susie has, except I left it at home. Thank you. Oh, well, that's nice, Susie. Um, I hope you'll get to bring it in next Friday. Anyway, that about sums up our lesson today. Hmm, let's see. We still have about ten more minutes. Jonathan, you still need to play me your A major scale. Would you come up here, please? Oh man. Okay. I wouldn't ask, but we didn't get to last time, and I don't want to put a zero in the grade book. Oh, no, no, of course not. Yes, certainly. I'll come play. She copied me again, Claudia. Do you think I should say something to someone? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't if I were you. I might just talk to Cece herself. Maybe she'll stop. I guess. 
I just hope she doesn't do anything in English. I'm not ready to confront her. Well, don't worry, Susie. It'll be easy. Um, just tell her to stop, and hopefully she will. I hope so, or else maybe she'll copy me stopping. Oh, I don't know. I'm confused. Alright, students, it's time for your next and last class. Now, don't forget to stop by after school and pick up your um, show-and-tell items. If you don't, don't worry. They'll still be here over the weekend. Now, have a great weekend, and I'll see you all on Monday. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, hello there, Bones. How about some coffee and a briefcase? Looking good. Alright now class, today we will be writing 5 to 10 line poems, nothing too hard. You can make them rhyme or not, I really don't mind. Um, just write about whatever you fancy and they'll be due at the end of the class and we might read a few of them out loud too. Oh great, I've never been great at poems. Have you Susie? Well, I guess I'm okay. Ah, uh, I'm excited. Let's start. Alright now. Is there anyone who would like to go up and stand in front of the board and read their poem? Ah, uh, Lee! How many times have I said colorful fruit balls are not allowed in class? No eating or drinking in this class, you hear? Oh, uh, yes sir. I was just a little hungry. Well, enough of that. Now throw that box away and get up and read your poem for the class. Oh, alright. Now, just so you know, it isn't very good or anything. Um, <clears throat> well, um... I went to summer camp where the cabins were so damp. Everywhere were snakes and bugs, even underneath the rugs. But the biggest thrill of all was the biggest frog I ever saw. Wow, great! Excellent! Woohoo! Wonderful! Aha, uh -huh, I like the frog. Lee, very good. Excellent, great job. Yes, yeah, so it turned out very well, despite the fact that you were distracted by colorful fruit balls. Excellent, now go sit down and let's see. Susie, how about you go up and read your poem? Oh, yes, alright. Um, alright then. This is called, To Thine Own Self Be True. Friends are essential. I have quite a lot. Each one is special. There's not one who's not. To be my friend, I have one request. Don't be me, be you, because you are the best. Excellent. Very, very good, Susie. Very good. Now, who would like to go next? Of course, Cece. Up you go. Alright. Mine is called Be True to Myself. I have a lot of friends. They are important. They shouldn't be like me. I'm the best. That's my request. Wow, that was like exactly like yours. Wow, did you hear that? Oh, that's so weird, Susie. She like totally copied you. See? She always copies me. Excellent class. Now will everyone please take out a blank sheet of notebook paper and start copying down vocab words. Oh, dear Cece, I just figured out what CC page turn stands for. What CC stands for? Copycat, you always copy me. Oh, I don't think we should be friends anymore, CC. You always copy me. Oh, I'm sorry, Susie. I don't even, I don't know, I just like what you do, so I thought I would do it myself. I see that now, but just don't copy me, please. I really don't like it. Be yourself, like my poem. Alright, I will. I'm sorry, I'll never copy you again. Truce. Alright, let's shake on it. Alright, I'm sorry I ever copied you, Susie. Thanks, Cece. That means a lot. Well, 
Come on now, Cece. Yay, it's Friday. How about this weekend, you and I get together and see if we can go to the mall and maybe we can find some matching shoes or shirts or something. Oh, really, Susie? That'd be excellent. Let's do it. We can be like copycats together. Ha, huh. yeah, it sounds fun. All right, then. I'll give you a call. Sounds great, Susie.